so the vegetable oil ha hasn't been running as good as I thought it was going to run. Uh, and I think I found the problem. So this little heated filter element has been uh, spitting out some, uh, some coolant. And I thought to myself, how on earth could it be spitting out coolant? You know? But what you should know is that both of these, I have two of them, I have an extra one, they have a one installed. Both of them came off of wrecked semis. Semi trucks, as you know, put on a lot of miles. It's pretty normal to have two, three, four million miles. Even one million miles. So, this is one of these filter units taken apart. That goes on there, that comes off. This is where the coolant passes through and heats up the vegetable oil. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. This one I did rebuild, but I did not do the final step of taking this off. I already took one of the O-rings off on the right-hand side, but the left one, as you can see, there has been oil and diesel fuel mixing here, so this one, if I just replaced it and slapped it on, would have the same problem. So Badge is gonna give me a hand, and we're gonna replace this here O-ring. What do you gotta say about that? I gotta get my outfit on first. <laughs> you, can't do, you can't even think without your outfit on, you know that. You gotta have your outfits on. All right, so we're bringing it into the hospital here. In it looks hospital. like a... Into the hospital? <laughs> the mechanic, mechanic hospital here. So Badge is just cleaning up this uh, mounting plate there. That O-ring is pretty much done. Yep. Here, so, West Transcend Existence, I went over to his bus and I showed him these O-rings and he said, Oh, those are O-rings. I said, well, they have a funny kind of slant to them. He said, no, that's what happens after a million miles. They get compressed. I'm just getting out some kind of sandpaper here. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's shiny. See, yep. it's dirty. I see that. Don't want it dirty. We need it cleaned up. <laughs> and he's taking an abrasive cre cleaner, not a chemical cleaner. There's no brake clean yet. That is, by the way, badge runs on bra brake cleaner. You got a brake clean right there. <laughs> you got to have brake clean. The world doesn't resolve without brake clean, man. What's this fun toy you got? Oh, this is a secret, Jack. Where'd you, you get this thing? You can't see that. Oh, man, look at that. Jack, this is like the a... mother load. This is an O-ring kit. You look at gotta, that. You gotta have one of these, wow. man. Wow. Wow, look at that. Like this is most this is the most common one. This is uh the uh, O-ring assortment. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Universal O-ring. Gives you all the sizes, even numbers. Wow. Look at that. Look yeah, at that. And you see you got an O-ring, yeah, I got a couple. This guy's got more things up his sleeve than Santa Claus. That's in a box. <laughs> That's in a box. Oh, this is a, this is a virgin. Look at that. Oh yeah, it sure is. Used. That's my uh, gasket maker that uh, I, I just brought over good. here. You can have the rest of that. So this is the new O-ring situation here, and uh, looks like oh, we're gonna yeah, put a little a gasket stuff. around. You just put this around here. Look at that. Oh yeah, and then we you do this when it don't let it dry, and you put it down uh -huh. and squeeze out all the excess, right? Yep. That's what we do. We squeeze out the, the excess, see? Anyway, what I was saying was the antifreeze will go up and coat the paper, and it's got water blockers so that it won't be able to go through the... And water, vegetable oil and water or antifreeze do not mix. It don't matter what you do. Even if you emulsify it, it won't mix. Hmm. And the antifreeze coats up the water blocker paper, and then when you turn it off, it drops down. That's what it does. So you drive along and then eventually it plug up again because it picks the fuel from the bottom and puts it to the top, right? Mm -hmm. This is the antifreeze in here, and this is a temperature sender for the antifreeze. And when this gets up to temperature, it turns it off so that the water won't go through it anymore, right? Oh, interesting. So, but this one here is a block heater in the fuel filter. So when you're pl plugged in below... I, I think it's 45 degrees, it'll turn itself on, right? And hmm. it'll heat the fuel in there, because this is all full of fuel up to about here, right? Mm -hmm. Even with the new filter. Mm -hmm. So this heats the fuel, this puts the, senses the temperature, runs, antifreeze comes through this to heat it up when this isn't plugged in, right? That's what that's for. You really want to be crazy about this stuff. 
Like, I know who this is going for, but I'm not going to say nothing. Because... <laughs> That's so cool. You should have showed me that a long time ago. Ooh. See how he's doing that? And then you see the scratch marks. Then you see the scratch marks and you'll see that it's flat all the way around. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? That is cool. I know. Did you put gasket awesome. maker on that thing too? Yep. We got the master at work here. I lent him a hand a What's minute ago. The... What do you need? I lent him a hand a minute ago, but he uh, he's back under there. And we are t uh, taking the fittings off of the <laughs> original, well, you know, the filter that was on there. We're replacing it with the extra one, which I grabbed. And we're just uh, putting some, put some of this vegetable oil in this bucket here. We'll probably burn that on the fire. All right, so. We have one of four hoses going on right now. And we did space this out so it'll be a lot easier to change the filter in the future. Just checking to make sure that the right one's going on the right one. <laughs> you know how hard it is to get fuel to push through a check valve on the wrong side? <laughs> yeah, probably pretty hard. Alright, good shape. My hands smell like 80% vegetable oil, canola oil, 20% motor oil. <laughs> Bad just putting on the uh, final piece. Fittings. We're putting That's on right. fittings. <laughs> the, fi the, fi the final part oh, of the... we forgot to tell. Michael, what? we're sorry. The filter housing we're going to give you. Sorry, buddy. Soon as you lose. <laughs> so I took, two, like I said, two from the junkyard. And uh, this one I grabbed from Michael, but he didn't use it. But it's coming in handy because uh, when you take all these hoses off, you got coolant spraying everywhere, you got oil. But you know, um, this reminds me of back when was that? March. We were sitting in Balance Rock. Oh, yeah. What an ugly place to be <laughs> fixing a truck. Huh? Yep, let me Give show you guys. Up. Let me show you guys where we are. We're in. Uh, Ehrenberg, BLM land, and uh, this is the terrible view that uh, Badge is talking about here. How pretty is that, huh? So this is 14-day land, although I suppose the meter only starts when the meter maid comes. And uh, we got a nice crew here. We got uh, Nomadic Movement came in. We got Schoolie. We got a little house on the highway. We got Transcend Existence. Wes, he does uh, mobile roof raises, by the way. Steampunk Steve, myself. We got Badge over here. And we got uh, Chevy and Hannah over here. And this is the rest of the spot, so. Oh, there's one of them. What are those? These are cutters. I remember I was doing all that wiring on his truck last year, the motorhome? Yeah. And I, I said, the that the cutters are good. He says, oh, I got a good pair of cutters. So he did. I said, oh, Bob, I'm going to have to steal them. And he says, no, no, I need them. But he brought me back a pair this year. Nice. Isn't that cool? That is cool. So we're all we're all plugged in, right? We're ready to go. Baby. Why don't we fire this thing up in vegetable oil? What do you say? No, we do. You can't do that, everybody says. Remember we did that up in Canada? And it did. <laughs> Remember? Because yep. everybody says you can't run on vegetable oil right. off the uh, bill, but right? Yep, but right now we need to prime the pump and uh, fill up the fuel bowl so we can get some fuel in this bat. Ow, bad boy. All right. There we go. Let me know when it fills up. I turned the vegetable oil pump on. So we can fill up the fuel bowl. All right, so I started this thing up on uh, veg. How's it going down there? Uh, it seems to be running. We can go give a uh, get a tailpipe sniff check, but uh, this thing is running. It will take a look. It might turn off because uh, lack of fuel. I had to fill up the uh, fuel bowl. 
Oh, yeah, that's vegetable oil. Yep. I, I don't know. It seems to be running. See you later. Go for riding the new build. Oh, yeah. I have another half I have to entertain. Okay. So I can't always do everything I want. Right. So. Is it your yes. top half or your bottom half? Top half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're moving. And we're, we're running on veg oil right now. Giving it the new test. Yeah, you know, we changed that filter. It's kind of screaming at me right now, so I don't know. But, uh, you know, the idea is to run on vegetable oil, so. So that's we what we're gonna do. We got 100 gallons of it. So why the heck not, right? What are you switching there? Uh, these are the, uh, that's a fuel source and that's a fuel return. So that's on veggie oil. Make sure everything stays together in here. It's pretty smooth, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 